Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends, wherever you are in the world. This is your friend Anya, and welcome to my video guide on the Linux-based wargame Bandit, hosted by Over the Wire. And you can see I'm on the Over the Wire page right now, that's overthewire.org. And let's read a little bit about Bandit. The Bandit War game is aimed at absolute beginners, and it will teach you the basics you need to know to play other war games. Get good at the Linux command line and eventually advance to other CTFs, maybe hosted by Try Hack Me or Hack the Bots. So the Bandit War game is organized in levels, as you can see, so far level 0 to level 34. Let's take a look at an example level. Each level you'll see that you'll get a level goal and then a hint on the commands that you're going to need to solve uh, that level. So as you complete each level, you'll gain the information needed to then advance to the next one. The goal is to help you learn about the Linux command line, CTFs, and war games in a, a way that's fun and engaging. So without further ado, Let's move on to the solutions for level zero. All right, well, we're here on Bandit level zero, and the goal of this level is for you to log into the game using SSH. The host to which you will need to connect is bandit.labs.overthewire.org on port 2220, and the username is bandit, the password uh, bandit zero, and the password is also bandit zero. So let's just get started and open up our terminal. We're going to SSH is bandit user zero at, and then we put in the host name, bandit.labs.overthewire.org. Then we're going to do hack p and connect on port 2220. When we connect to uh, the level via SSH, we'll then enter the password bandit zero and there we are so let's jump to the next level and you'll see what we need to solve this level and get to level two uh sorry level one uh the password for the next level is stored in the readme file so we're just going to again list out the comments with ls and simply cat this readme file You'll see the contents of the file and boom there's the password for the next level let's go ahead and exit out of bandit zero and start on level one all right now let's connect to bandit level one you can just uh press the up arrow and Go ahead and change the user from bandit zero to bandit one. I'm going to keep up this password because sometimes I have issues with copy paste with inside the uh, remote server. So you're just copying and the pasting the um, password that we found in bandit level zero and we're inside the server. So what is, what are we being told for this next level? Uh, the file or the password for the next level is stored in a file called hyphen located in the home directory. So again, we can do ls for listing the contents. We see there is uh, the file hyphen. And so you can put here cat and we're going to cat for the home directory hyphen. And there we go. That's our password needed for bandit level two. I've already connected to bandit level two. Let's uh, go up and read the goals for this level. So the password um, for this level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. So again, let's just clear and ls to list the contents. So here, here's the file, and we're going to cat out with quotation spaces in this file name. Now, why do we use spaces for this? 
Because in Unix-like operating systems, spaces are typically used to separate out different arguments. If you don't handle the spacing correctly, the shell will misinterpret the arguments. That's why we have to put spaces or alternatively um, escape commands between the file name. And once you've capped with the quotations around the file name, spaces in this file name, we've got our next password. So let's exit and connect again at bandit level three. Login is bandit user three, bing, on boom, where we are. And let's look at the level goal. So the password for the next level is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory. So as usual, let's just ls list out the contents of the directory. We see the in here directory. So we're going to use change directory command for the in here directory. We're now in the in here directory. Let's list out the contents again. No contents of the in here. So we're going to list out uh, in long format and look for hidden files. And there we go, we have a hidden file. Let's check that out by using the command cat or concatenate. And there we go, we're gonna cat that out. There's our next password. There's our password for bandit4. All right, now that we're connected to bandit level four, let's uh, again look at the level goal. Um, now that we're connected to the remote server, we see that our task is to find the only human readable file in the in here directory. And we have the commands that you can solve to use this level uh, below. So jump to the terminal and we're gonna use ls again, list out the contents of the current directory. We see the in here directory, and we're gonna cd to the in here directory. As usual, we're going to list out the contents one more time. And we see this, uh, these files uh, with the format hyphen file and then zero, zero, 00209. So, what we're going to do is use the file command to determine the file type, then search in the current directory for a file with. Again, the structure of uh, hyphen file zero. We're going to put in a wild card. And once we use file, we can see the type of file um, zero through six data and eight through nine data. But file seven is ASCII text. So we're going to copy and paste. Um, I think that's easiest. We just cat out, copy and paste the file. Again, current directory hyphen file 07 there's the password for level 5 all right welcome to level 5 i'm already connected to this uh, remote server uh level 5 and uh, let's take a look at the level goal the password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has the following properties human readle 1033 bytes in size and it's not executable so we're ultimately going to use the find command to find the file uh, that contains our next password so the find command just allows you to search uh, the directory structure for files with different attributes like these here human readable 1033 bytes in size etc let's start off though with listing the contents as usual and we see the in here directory we can cd to the in here directory and We'll just list it out for fun and we see these subdirectories maybe here well that's going to take a long time to search so to cut down in time we will use the find command we're searching in the current directory the type is a file f and we want size 1033 bytes and c stands for bytes and we also do not want this to be executable not executable Let's uh, alter this just a little bit and search again. And here we go. We have this bandit5 
in here directory, maybe here seven file two. So let's cat that out. Let's see what's going on there. And you can just put the full path or part of the path. And there we go. This should be the full password. Welcome back and congrats on completing levels up to five. So I'm connected again to the red server uh, to level six and we'll continue to build on the fun command in this section. So let's look at our level goal for levels six, moving on to seven. The password for the next level is stored somewhere on the server and has the following properties. Owned by user bandit seven, owned by group bandit six, and 33 bytes in size. So let's go over to the terminal and list out the content. Uh, let's just use the long format to see if there are any hidden files. No, so let's just search again. It's just somewhere on the server. So this time we're going to use the find command the current directory. We're not going to specify type uh, or any type in here. We're just going to define the group, which is, I believe, again, bandit. The group is bandit six. So we'll do by group bandit six by user bandit seven and then size 33 bytes in size. Again, it's 33 uh, size, and then the size is 33C, C for bytes. And we're gonna direct the output to dev null so we don't, don't clutter up our results here. Great. What's this? var lib dpkg info slash bandit7.password. Well, let's try catting that out. And there we go, our password to move on to level seven. And here we are on the next level. Look, let's take a look at the level goal for level seven moving to eight. So the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt next to the word million. And here's the commands that very, you can use for this level. So we're just going to cat, um, I skipped ahead there, let's ls, we can see the data.txt document, and what we're going to do is cat out that data.txt document, the pipe to the grep command, and search for millionth. So we're given the line in a file, and next to millionth, keyword millionth, is our password for bandit eight. All right, moving right along on bandit level eight, we're connected to the remote server and let's check out the level goal. So the level goal here is the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt and it's the only line of text that occurs once. And here's the commands that you will need to solve this level. So what we're going to do as always is list out the contents of the current directory and we'll see the data.txt file. So what we're going to do is catch out the data.txt file then pipe to the sort command, which is going to sort um, the lines of the text documents for us. And lastly, we're going to pipe for unique tag u, which is going to give us the unique line. So there we go. The unique line is the password for the next level, level nine. Right, here we go, level nine. Now, our level goal for level nine is to find the password, which is stored in the file data.txt in one of the few human readable strings preceded by several equal sign, if you can see that, characters. 
So in this level, in level 9, our task is to find a specific string within a binary file. We're going to use primarily the uh, strings command to find um, the characters that we need within the file. So we're going to do strings. Um, well, let's ls. We find the data.txt files. And we're going to use strings data.txt. Um, and we're going to pipe and grep to the equal sign character. So strings is just going to extract um, a readable string from that file. And then we're going to grep search for that equal sign. All right, we have a few here. Uh, results. Let's increase several, let's say several equal sign characters. So let's put at least two. So we see here the password is an then this string. So I'm going to guess this is the password for level 10. So let's exit out, connect to level 10, and uh, wrap up the solutions for the first 10 levels of Bandit. Let's look at the level goal and uh, move from there. So we're on Bandit's level 10, going to 11. And the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt. We're familiar with this file by now, which contains base64 encoded data. Okay. So basically, we're going to have to find the line in this file and then decrypt uh, the encoded data. So. As always, I like to start out with ls to list the contents, just make sure the file's there, data.txt, and we're going to use the cat command uh, to, uh, to read the contents of the data.txt file. We're going to pipe over to base64 and use the decode option to decode the line that we need, and there it is. The password is in this string that starts with a lowercase d. And there we go. We have gotten to level 10. So that's completion of the first 10 levels of Bandit. All right. Well, that wraps up my guide for Bandit levels 0 through 10. And I hope you learned something from this walkthrough, a little bit about the Linux command line, the key to getting down these commands and navigating the command line is practice and patience. So please stay tuned with me. I am going to cover the whole of Bandit. So that's levels 11 to 34, and that will be likely in three parts. So please stay tuned with me for the rest of the series. Hit the like, the subscribe, the notification button, all that jazz. And in the meantime, happy having my friends Good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is your friend Anya, and it's been real.